Good day everyone. Today we are going to do the electroplating of copper with nickel. So the aim of the experiment is to coat a sheet of copper with nickel using electricity. So you will be needing one sheet of nickel and one sheet of copper, sodium hydroxide solution, nickel to sulfate solution, electrode holder, three connecting wires with crocodile clips, six volt battery, six volt bulb band holder, two beakers, 100 centimeter cube, paint brush, paper towels, steel wool, safety glasses, and of course, propanol, nail varnish, and distilled water. In electroplating, electrolysis is used to coat or plate one metal with another. The plating metal becomes the anode and the object to be plated is the cathode. The electrolyte is a solution of the compound of the plating metal. So here we are cleaning the copper electrode and the nickel electrode. This is done with a sandpaper to remove all the deposits which may have formed as a result of oxidation, the slow oxidation of the metal. So once the electrodes are clean, you take it and dip it in sodium hydroxide solution to ensure that it is clean. Then the electrode is washed in tap water and dried using a paper towel. Now this is the copper plate on which you are going to plate nickel over this so this uh, copper sheet will be the and it will be used as the cathode the electrode connected will be the negative electrode the cathode so before doing that um, what we can do is you can write your name or draw any small symbols or flowers on the electrode because you're going to electroplate it with another metal. So using a nail varnish, you can draw something onto the electrode. So here my student is drawing a picture of her choice. Leave the copper plate for some time to dry and then you have the nickel to sulfate solution in the beaker. So you see the leads are connected onto the battery. The black wired one is the negative electrode and the red is the positive electrode anode. So nickel 
plate is connected to the positive electrode. So that is the anode getting connected there and the negative electrode is connected to the copper plate which is the cathode. Now you leave the two electrodes in the electrolyte. As you do this experiment, make sure that the electrodes do not touch each other. They are fully immersed in the nickel to sulfate solution. And a 6 volt current is being constantly supplied. You may have to leave it for around 10 minutes to see results. Now to monitor the successful flow of the current, it is connected to a bulb and if the bulb blow, blows continuously, it's a clear indication that the current is flowing through because of the movement of the ions in the electrolyte. Okay, the electrolytic cell is ready to be set up. The electrodes are immersed in the nickel to sulfate solution and the current will be turned on soon. Looks like the current is not flowing continuously, so my student she has to remove and switch it again. Yes, now the bulb is glowing, indicating the steady flow of current. So this is left for around 10 minutes for the process to be complete. So you can see a deposit of nickel on the copper and with the slow flow of electricity this will be an even deposit.
formed on the cathode At the end of 10 minutes, switch off the battery, take out the electrodes, place it on a paper towel. And wipe dry. So you see the clear etching that has formed on the copper plate as a result of the electroplating. Hope you enjoyed this experiment and if you like please press the like so button you can see and subscribe the clear to my channel. Electroplating that has taken place on the copper, copper plate. Now we wash the electrodes with propanone to remove any of the nickel sulfate which must be there on the electrodes.